All right, our last reaction of the night. Now, first of all, if you guys want me to react to anything, I put a watch later folder and playlist together all the damn time. If you guys want to post it on Discord, comments, live stream chat, all that stuff, I compile a bunch of things to react to, and I usually start streams when I have things to react to with my reactions. So if you guys want to go ahead and let me know on social media or anything, let me know what to react to, and I will definitely do it. Otherwise, I throw in my own things, and things that get DM'd to me, I also put in there. Uh, but Dragonflight Pre-Expansion Patch Survival Guide. Why is this getting released on the day of pre-patch? Uh, it's done. I, I, I haven't logged in to pre-patch yet because I've been working all day. Because that's why I stream late at night. Is because my daytime's busy. Extremely busy. But um, very early today um, than usual. But yeah, that's why I stream late at night. Is because I don't know what I can do during the day. I'm very busy during the day and that's just how it is. But, Dragonflight Pre-Expansion Patch Survival Guide. They need to release these a week ahead of the freaking pre-patch. Because I know there's nothing that's there for us to play tonight. It's just, they release the user interface updates. Class updates. And also, there's a couple classes that are now with different races. Um, user interface, class updates, talent changes. So, so they, it's, it's basically the revamp of the game for the next expansion that comes out next month. That's all it is. No, no content got released today. But we will log in, we will explore and have some fun with it and set up my character, and then we'll go play a different game after that. But just to give you all a heads up, that's what's going down tonight. It's not much. November 15th, however, is when the pre-patch content gets dropped. New race, new dungeon, uh, new quest lines, pre-patch shit, all that stuff. But let's check this out, last reaction of the night. We've seen this in the trailer. Here we go. Welcome to the World of Warcraft Survival Guide for the Dragonflight Pre-Expansion Patch. The next major content update coming to World of Warcraft. I'm Hazel. I'm Nagura. And I'm Sidhu. We'll I know Sidhu. As you return to Azeroth to experience the prologue events of Dragonflight, take your first steps on the Dragon Isles, and meet an all-new race and class, the Drag Theory Voker. The pre-patch will be coming in two parts. The first phase is starting soon. No, it's start it's already started. By the way, I know it's not your fault. The three content creators that are making this video, great job. Uh, they're actually all cool. They're cool. They're cool people. I do know the first two, the females. I know of them, and I know they're big. But C do uh, I, I I actually have seen and watched his content, but. Round of applause to the three content creators. It's good that World of Warcraft is allowing this to happen because this is very, very good for the franchise. But the fucking video came and was released after the pre-patch was released. What the fuck, man? I want this is a survival guide. How do we survive without the guide before getting thrown in? And the second phase will follow a few weeks after. The first Dumbos. phase introduces a fresh new talent design for all classes, expanded class choices, an updated this. user interface, rated solo shuffle and PvP, oh, and this too. free barbershop services. I don't when you log into the Dragonflight pre-expansion patch, you're going to see an <clears> all-new <throat> talent system for every class. Whether you're a fearsome druid, a deadly hunter, or a demonic warlock, your class talents have been That's me. from the ground up to give you more choices in how you play your character than ever before. All characters' talents have been reset, so you can get started selecting spells and abilities, and you can now save your selections, share them, and import talent loadouts right there in the talent window. That's really good. Dragonflight is going to include a maximum character level of 70, so don't forget that 10 more levels and 10 more talents... Can't wait to you create my World of Warcraft Warlock guides system. again. Everyone will log in with a preset starter build so they don't have any interruptions to their <clears> gameplay, <throat> but they can re-customize it and create loadouts to suit their playstyle. Along with the updated talent systems, three classes are now available to all races. Any race can now be a mage, a priest, or a rogue. Yes, at long last, you're free to be a Tauren mage, or an orc priest, or a Drenai rogue. I'm especially looking forward to seeing all of the high mountain Tauren rogues. I was about or to say. not seeing them. They've got this. Tauren rogues. The user interface <laughs> has seen a major update. And it now includes a fully customizable heads-up display. This is going to be interesting. You can select edit mode in the game menu to bring up the full range of options for every element on the screen. And that includes a couple of default presets that you can choose to make your layout a crisp new <coughs> modern look or switch back to the classic look you know and love. The UI update comes with several new accessibility features, 
including additional options for targeting and interacting oh i gotta mess up with all my settings bro you guys are gonna watch me mess around with settings this is the gameplay you get today action is in full swing in addition to an updated talent system and pvp talents for all classes you can now queue for rated solo shuffle if you haven't tried solo shuffle yet it's a pvp brawl available in the pvp finder and you don't need a group to join. Why is it in quick match? Previously, there was no PvP rating considered, but now the rated version of Soul Shuffle is available. Then put it in the rated tab, you dumbo. What it's like to join teammates and take on opponents who are closer to your skill level. If you find yourself in a Soul Shuffle with me, good luck. You're gonna need it. <gasps> Hold it! Hold it! Fuck, see you up in World PvP. And I have the video of it, so suck it. If you're a frequent customer at the barber shop, oh, he was pissed by the way. He was getting camped. I camped him. I made him quit his stream. That's how bad it was. We have some great news. Those services in World of Warcraft are now free to all players. The barber shop used to cost some gold, but that's no longer the case. You can hit the randomize appearance button like crazy, try out your new look, and if you realize you don't like it, come back and try something different for free. In the second phase of the pre-expansion patch, you'll create and start leveling a new race, the Drakthir. An ancient race of humanoid dragonkin, the Drakthir are shapeshifters who go from a draconic form... Looking forward to being able to play these guys. Back ...as they wield the magic of all five dragonflies. You'll start in a newly rediscovered Forbidden Reach, where long ago Drakthir trained as soldiers of Maltharian before you move on to join either the Alliance or the Hordes. All Drakthir characters belong to a new hero class, the Evoker. Evokers were a male and <coughs> choose between two specializations, Devastation and Preservation. The Devastation Evoker is a ranged magic using they do. who focuses on the power They're kinda cool. red and blue dragon flies, They're not amazing, but while the Preservation Evoker They're is right. a healer who calls upon the abilities of the Bronze Dragonfly to manipulate time as well as the magic of the green dragonfly to heal. Evokers use a new type of spell called Empower. By holding down a button, you'll charge up a spell, causing it to do more damage or hit more targets. After a spell has been fully empowered, you so have a weird. little time to keep holding it and release it when you're ready. And after a few seconds, if you're still holding it fully empowered, the spell will cast automatically. Also okay, coming good. soon, pre-expansion events will start with the max level revamp of the Uldaman dungeon. Uldaman? Uldaman. Now if you know the joke, freaking 15 year old joke right there. And the arrival of elemental storms in select zones. The storms infuse local creatures with additional powers. She shouldn't have worn a green sweater. Here. And as you know, invading elementals and primalists must be defeated. The Dragonflight pre-expansion patch is coming soon, and then shortly after, you'll be able to create your own Drakthir Evoker and fight back the invading storms. Keep an eye on worldofwarcraft.com. That's Alex Shaza, but we never got to actually see her in a humanoid form. Thanks for form. watching, and we'll see you in Azeroth. All right, we got just about a month and three days left until the expansion gets released. I'm looking forward to it, but for today, we've got pre-patch. So let's freaking go. Actually, I'm gonna go grab a drink before we get into pre-patch. So I'm gonna be right back in like 30 seconds. <laughs> 